for this problem, let's try factoring out a GCF from a binomial. And we'll concentrate on pulling out a numerical GCF. In other words, a GCF or a greatest common factor that is a number. So in our first example here, we'll do two examples. We have a 6u minus 12. So in order to correctly factor out a GCF, the key is to look at the first part of the binomial, the 6u, and the second part of the binomial, which is the 12, and find a number that is common to both of these numbers. Now, the greatest common factor to 6 and 12 might be, you might go through the, some things in your head, like for example, maybe 2 would be common, because 2 certainly goes into 6 and 2 certainly goes into 12, but it's not the greatest common factor. For example, 3 is also a common factor. 3 goes into both 6 and it goes into 12. Now, neither of those, it turns out, are actually the greatest common factor. Can you think of what the greatest number that goes into both 6 and 12 happens to be? Pause the video if you'd like to think about it on your own for a moment, but assuming that you've paused it out and given it a shot, the correct answer is actually the number 6. 6 goes into both 6 and into 12. So when we write this as a factored form, we would write the 6 down here as a number that was pulled out of the expression. So in the first case, when you pulled the 6 out from the u, the leftover bit would be just a u, because 6 times u is exactly 6u. In the second part of the binomial, the number 12, the number that would be left over inside would be a 2, simply because 6 times 2 is equal to 12. And the connector symbol between the two is still the minus sign. So the answer to this problem would be 6 multiplied by the quantity u minus 2. You can check by the distributive property to ensure that you get the same answer as you had to begin with. Let's do another example just for some fun here. So here's another binomial. Let me underline the two pieces of the binomial in blue again. 5w plus 15. Pause the video for a second and see if you can think of the number that goes into both 5 and 15. And if you landed upon the number 5, you are correct. The number 5 goes into both 5w and into 15. So that would be the part left out in front. I think I did this in red last time, so let's be consistent. 5. Okay. Well, what was left over in the first element when we pulled out the 5? The answer here would be the w. You can check very quickly that 5 times w is 5w. How about in the second part? What number multiplied against 5 would give 15? That would be the number 3. And then notice that the connector symbol between the two is the plus sign. So the final answer to this example would be 5 times the quantity w plus 